name is Abbas. I am an artist from Portland, Maine. You can check out my work at abbas.com. I'm going to give you some ideas on making Halloween cards. So I have here some watercolor paper. I'm going to rip off a sheet and fold it in half um, horizontally like this. and fold it back again to create a nice crease. And then you should have a pair of scissors and cut the paper in half along the crease. This is just a good way to get two evenly sized rectangles of paper. Then fold both of these rectangles in half horizontally again. And you can use the edge of the scissors to get a nice sharp crease. And do the same thing with your other rectangle. All right, so the technique I'm going to have you use produces really nice results. And you're going to start out with either some crayons or china markers, which are just kind of fancy wax crayons, and draw some sort of Halloween or fall related image on the front of your card. So I am going to draw a jack o' lantern. So just kind of a pumpkin shape with two triangles for eyes, another triangle for nose, and a bunch of squares lined up for the teeth. So just a really simple image. And you can even color in the eyes with a black crayon, color in the nose. I'm going to actually color in the teeth with white. For this technique, white is actually a color that you can use and it'll show up because what we're going to do is paint over this image with watercolor. So actually, you could even write Happy Halloween if you want to. Then take a fairly good sized brush, a nice soft brush preferably, and dip it in the water, then grab some watercolor on the brush, any color you want, but a different color than what you've used with the crayon. And you'll see that the wax crayon resists the watercolor. You might be able to see it even better if I use a darker color. So I'm actually going to take some black on my brush and just blend that in with the yellow so that you can see how the red just resists that black watercolor. And you can really see the lines of what I've drawn and they really stand out nicely against that black. So now I'll show you one done all with white crayon. So I'm going to draw kind of a cartoonish skull, which you probably can't see right now, but you will definitely see it once I put watercolor over it. And I'll add some crossbones. and write some sort of silly Halloween related word down at the bottom. So it's sort of like invisible ink, which is going to be revealed once I add a color over it. So this time I'll do orange. 
and maybe a little bit of red. And you can kind of do an abstract painting with the watercolor and no matter what you do, it'll just um, end up showing that image that you've drawn underneath because the crayon will always resist the watercolor. My name is Abbott and I just gave you some ideas for making Halloween cards. <laughs>